We have three types of chickens in our little flock, our hungry little flock today. We've talked about our barred rocks and our buff Orpingtons in another video. So if you want to go hear about those, go check out those two other videos that we've done on them. Now, I've asked this in social media before, if this is just molting or not. And it's not about an Easter egg, -er, but let's look at Biddy today. She looks pitiful. I'm assuming it's molting. Her feathers are coming back. But Lord of mercy, she is the ugly duckling right now of our flock. Poor Biddy. But today I want to talk about our Easter eggers. Now, I did not know until recently that Easter egger really isn't a particular type of breed of chicken. It's more like a barnyard mix. The Easter eggers are very beautiful birds. Some of ours look similar, some look very different. They are known for being a friendly type of chicken, but they're also known for their beautiful bluish green eggs. We got our Easter eggers last May, and that was a very busy time of year for us. So I can honestly say we didn't hold our Easter eggers when they were chicks quite as much as we did our other ones. Um, so it's taken them a little while to get used to us and warm up to us, more so than the others. But they're still very friendly birds and they have blended right in with our flock. And because we got them last May, they have already been through a very torturous Texas summer, and they're now in the winter, and they have handled it beautifully, and they are known for being hardy chickens. They are known for being able to handle the heat and also the cold. Now we're in Texas, so our cold isn't some people's cold, but we have had it down in the teens, and so far so good. We have five Easter eggers in our flocks. We have Rusty. And I can honestly say when Rusty was little, ooh, wasn't sure how she was going to turn out. But she has gotten to be one of our prettier birds. Her colors have woven together very nicely. We have our twins, Lottie and Dottie. The main way we tell them apart is the dots on their head, hence the name Dottie. We have Phyllis and we have Penny. And Fred, if you've seen that before on any of our social media, well, rest in peace, Fred. You can see that the Easter Eggers have beautiful feathers. Some of them have the muffs and the beards. They have the grayish, greenish legs. And some Easter Eggers will even have the feathered legs. If you like this video, smash the like button and be sure you subscribe to our channel so we can keep making videos like this for you. I do have to say the best part about having Easter Eggers is their beautiful blue-green eggs. We have a variety of colors. We love to see what we're going to get because they are such beautiful, beautiful eggs. The colors are amazing. I would definitely recommend Easter Eggers as a type of chicken that you would enjoy. Even though they're a barnyard mix of Americana and some other breed, we think they are beautiful, wonderful chickens, and I think they would make an excellent choice to add to your backyard chicken flock. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Pardon. 